Okay, so Five Nights at Freddy. Is that shit fake? No, that's this is a real game. We're talking about a real game here. Uh, so what happens? Who's f Five Nights at Freddy's? There's almost six thousand six. There's almost sixty thousand fan games. People like get like a computer. It's and only on get... it's only on page one. Page one there's almost sixty. Okay, so who's so, Freddy, um, and how do these people come about to be? Okay, Freddy is an animatronic that was built. And he's a big bear, right? He has a bow tie, a top hat, little ears. And the next one is Bonnie, which my mom thinks is a girl, even though she's a boy. He's a boy. He, he's a boy. Why? How is he a boy if he looks like a girl? He doesn't look like a girl. He looks like a boy. Okay. But his name's Bonnie. Why do people mix him up for a girl? I don't know. I don't know. It's Scott. You got, Chica, you got Chinese. Chinese. Chica, Chinese. Well, who's Scott? Scott's just some guy who made the game. He's a game creator. He made the game Five Nights at Freddy's, and it was a, it was a huge thing. I used to be so scared of it. Well, maybe, maybe, I, maybe Bonnie has genitals, and that's why they think it's a guy. No, 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 no. Listen, kids play this game. <laughs> so there ain't no genitals. No. Oh, Why okay. would it be genitals if it's a kid's restaurant? Yeah, but there's death and killings. Well, yeah, but no one ever knows going about going that. The heck? They you know what? What? So, no, no, listen, there's a murder that murdered people, and now the animatronics are haunted, but they act like they're not during showtime, because Williams attracts kids with an animatronic suit. Brings His name's Spring Bonnie. Brings one of the most favorite characters that I like a lot. Takes off the suits and then has a knife and kills them. My dad says I shouldn't be watching this, but I don't like it because of the animatronics. I mean, I think Scott did a really good job on them. It Scott, who's cool. Scott? Do we want to give Scott some props for making this? What's who's Scott? Scott's just a guy who thought the idea. He's a game creator. Okay. His name's Scott Cotwin. You can look it up right now. Scott Cotwin. He's there you the go, one there you go, guys. Scott Cotwin. That guy is the guy who created the game Finance at Freddy's because, you know, it's literally based off Chuck E. Cheese. And, dude, listen, I heard this on one YouTube video. The guy was talking about facts about Bonnie. Mm -hmm. And so, Scott Cochran is literally scared of Bonnie. He has nightmares about Bonnie all the time. This is the creator. The creator. He's scared of his own creations. Yeah, dude, because... There's so supposed rare, to be, man. There's a rare camera scene where you see Bonnie and Parsons Sirs. He has no eyebrows. And he's like super in the... He's like facing his camera. In the camera right there. And then he has like these really like white dark eyes. And it's just These crazy. dark eyes. Little tiny white eyes. Just like... Did you just do the Batman eyes? Is that what it was? Not really. It's... I, I don't know, but it's really scary. Actually, a lot of people make fan-made um, animatronics. Fan-made um, animatronics. Yeah, like they get the image of the real animatronics and make them to something like really cool. Like they get props and like images of other animatronics and make into one animatronic, so it looks super cool. Like so, a, let me ask you this: It seems like you guys know a lot about this Five Nights at Freddy's, all right? Yeah. How long have you guys been? Watching this video or playing this game? Actually, to be honest, we have no idea. Uh, that long? Okay, so I think yeah. when I was uh, six, I and started. How, and how old are you now? And I'm ten. Ten years old. So four years later, still playing this game? Kind of. And what about you? Same thing. What, when you were six? Well, well I'm now five because... Like, is, there's no way I can be older than him. I'm okay, so how old are you now? Nine. nine. You're nine. So you were playing it when you were like five. No, I I was starting to like it when I was like uh, uh, five. Because we no, don't five. really play the game because, dude, it's hard. It's really hard. I can't even beat this. Okay. FNAF 2. Wait, stop. I think I just easy. confused myself on your guys' ages and how, time, how long you guys have been playing this game. But I guess that's not relevant right now. What's relevant is why would you want 
people to watch Five Nights at Freddy's. It seems like you guys are fans. Why, what would you say to the people out in YouTube land? Hey, you need to watch Five Nights at Freddy. This needs to be top priority on your bucket list. Well, nobody likes it anymore. Well, no one even knows what it is anymore. People already done it, but they're working on games like fan games. Like they're taking like new stuff and making it into like a FNAF game. Like somebody. But they have permission. They don't just make one head. Okay, what? Heck what can you doing. say right now to the people to play Night Five Nights at Freddy or check it out? I think every everybody already plays Five Nights at Freddy. Someone made a theme park. But. Okay, but People if if you haven't, if you ha if so, you somebody haven't if somebody has not watched that video or played that game, what would you say to those people to get them to watch it? Because you was, you actually think it's an awesome, awesome game. There's it great is. animatronics. There's great um, yeah, like there's just sound songs. effects. The graphics are awesome. Crystal clear vision. Uh, there's spookiness. There's devils and goblins. There's no there's transformers in that shit. All kinds of stuff. Now tell people why they should watch Five Nights at Freddy. Well, cause there is really well, cool games. Well, we're scared of it. Don't do it if you want to get. If you're scared of it, don't do it. Cause um, listen, Freddy's mind could be stuck in your mind. Cause I don't think you can get rid of him anymore. You're gonna always be like, hey, did you guys know about that FNAF game, that Five Nights at Freddy's stuff? My dad doesn't like it that much, but I like it a lot. I like how the people made like cool things about it, like songs and this. And it's becoming really popular. It's just it's not like going popular anymore. I mean, the costumes and everything for is expensive, but I think Scott did a really good idea for making Chuck E. Cheese and making it like rolled into like a FNAF game called Five Nights at Freddy's. Now. I like it. It's just the one thing is I can't beat FNAF 2 and I haven't played the other games. It's just that they're not ready. They keep giving me demos about it, but I really want to play the full game. So, yeah, I think it's a really good game. And for people who don't know about it, you should probably check it out. And it's a really good game. It's it's really good. And, you know, you just you sit in the office and you just got to wait and then, like, we look for you. Because it's a thing where you always got to be on it. You can't Dude, take a break make or anything. Dude, Minecraft maps about it, too. Okay. Yeah. Von Carr, you tell me why people should watch Five Nights at Freddy. Yeah. Are you recording us? No. Just tell me why should we watch Five Nights at Freddy. Well, we, if you don't want to watch it, then you don't have to watch it. But... You believe in this Five Nights at Freddy, right? You like it. You enjoy it. Yes. Okay. Okay. So okay. why? What do you want to tell the people out there so that they can check it out? So, Five Nights at Freddy was made by Scott Cotton, right? He is very creative at that game. First of all, Five Nights at Freddy's one was made. People heard of it. They want to play it. So Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, and Foxy. Actually, Foxy has an out of order sign because kids keep messing with him, and that's why he's out of order. <laughs> and, um, okay, go ahead. So, no, I'm going to talk to you. So, so, the freaking cameras and everything lay on the pizzeria. It's a good pizzeria. Kids enjoy that. Kids enjoy being at the pizzeria, but, but not when there's killer in front. So the first, the very first pizzeria was Fredbear's Family Diner. Fredbear is a gigantic version of Freddy. But gold. He's, he's like goldish kind. Of thing. And he has a big old mouth. And there's spring, and a spring bonnie. He's actually pretty skinny. He's, he's, a, he's actually really fast. He's a, he, and also. Like a cheetah? Well, not like a cheetah, but he's pretty fast. Now, Spring Bonnie has a suit that can hold a person inside it, but also get killed. Because there's something called a spring lock failure. The spring lock failure. Okay, As a what? Spring lock failure. Uh, okay, so spring. No, I'm talking, Abel. Come on, wait. Talk. So spring lock failure is that 
the spring bars fail, right? And you get squished in the soup. And they tell you to avoid, avoid any areas that kids will go to. It goes somewhere where the kids are not going to see it. They kind of don't even care about you. So Spring Bonnie, he's a cool. And also he can open his face up for some reason. Just opens it up and you see his endoskeleton head. That's, I think that was a really good thing for a Spring Bonnie. And so, okay, this is a guy named William who we were talking about him before. William is the one who killed the kids. And this and there's something called a security puppet, right? He's the marionette in Final Phrase 2. He placed the souls into the new M trunks that arrived. Actually, no, I'll say that. So from so this is this little kid, right? He okay, these are these bullies, right? They're like and like Wait, okay, go ahead. And like, so they they think he likes Fredbear. Like, oh, let's bring him up close. I think he wants to kiss him or something like that. And they put him in his mouth, right? And he and he has a spring lock failure. And next thing you know, his his mouth closes. And it's and a huge animatronic. His head's in there. Now it's, there's a little kid. His big brother. Is a real bully to him because he cries a lot because he trying. Now he has a Fredbear plush that haunt that haunts you in FNAF 4 in the mini games. His and eyes follow you like, like see if like see if you're over there right in the Fredbear plushes right here. He has completely black eyes with like little white ones, and he's gonna be like this. Goddamn. He's gonna be like, looking at. Well, there you go, people. This is goddamn. Real Halloween type stuff. Scariest yeah. crap. Now check it out. Find the Freddy's one. Okay, let's go back to, to one. Uh-huh. So Find the Freddy's one is actually I think it should be I think Spring Bonnie and Fredbear's Family Guy should be Find the Freddy's one. I think Find the Freddy's one should be Find the Freddy's two. I really think they should add a Fredbear Family Guy in their game. But people who have fan games, they probably have a lot of fan games. So let's talk about the animatronics in FNAF 1. Now, the animatronics have a suit that a human cannot fit in there because I think they have three fingers or four. But the old animatronics like Fredbear and Spring Bonnie had five fingers. So oh, wait, I wasn't done with the Spring Bonnie. So, so Williams on. goes in Spring Bonnie, right? Because I think he's his favorite animatronic. And he goes he lures in the suit, right? kids to a back room that nobody's allowed to go in. So in for employees, and then he murders the kids because he's just a serial killer. Why the hell are there kids at a restaurant? Do they work there? No. Is this guy like, no, you know, listen, is this children like, uh, slave like, labor? No, it's like... Are we supposed to report uh, child services or something in this restaurant? No. What's going on there? Uh, no, okay, so... At daytime when... The, no. At daytime, it's he's like dressed as cheese. Spring Bonnie. Oh, these kids are just there playing games. Yeah. Having like, a good old time. Yeah, good old time. Even though there's a murderer named Williams that lure kids back there and nobody hears them. Oh, I don't know. It's so, so these, that, that means, that first of all, that means that so this, the this, parents, we got, let, let's get down to the, the parents' responsibility of taking care of these children. And they didn't. They probably just dropped their asses off, took off, no, they, and then their kids get murdered. And no one no. knows nothing about their asses. I no, think they don't no, hear. I That's why the restaurant the... got shut down. Oh, man. They just try to keep it, keep it a real secret. And and now Puppet is he just a random soul. thing that came in and grabbed the little no crying children that were dead. And their souls no one like even knows crying now. Like, 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 all he knows is a Oh, man. They got, some, they got some soul reapers up in here. That's, that's what's going on. You know what they need? They need to get a soul reaper up in that place. There's a soul actually, reaper is actually, someone that will pass that guy to the other side. You know what actually, I mean? Actually, there is a puppet called the Weeper Puppet. Is he saving souls and taking them to the to the to the promised land? Actually, Weeper Puppet. Um, we don't know. We don't know about Wait, that game that we, just yet. I think in that fan game, you're playing as a crying child and he's at the hospital. Yeah, you're that playing a yeah. fan game. Alright, so let's finish this up here. Game. Five Nights at Freddy. Well, it's it's terrifying. It's terrifying. Uh, it's, what's it's, your name, buddy? 
I'm Abel, this is Adrian, and you're and, uh, making a video about us, aren't you? Yeah, I know, but that's fine. If you guys like this, then like and subscribe and comment up below. What else do you guys want us to do? Yep, there you go. There you go. What else do you guys want to know about the Avila brothers? Alright, this is the Avila brothers right here. Get together. Yeah, that's them. That's Abel. That's Adrian. What's up? Peace out, A-Town.